Oh yes, he's a clever operator, is Walpole, though he's only one of your chloroform surgeons. In my early days, you made your man drunk, and the porters and students held him down, and you had to set your teeth and finish the job fast. Nowadays, you work at your ease, and the pain doesn't come until afterwards, when you've taken your check and rolled up your bag and left the house. I tell you, Collie, chloroform has done a lot of mischief. It's enabled every fool to be a surgeon. I know you'll cut the wall poles when they're like. They found out that a man's body is full of bits and scraps of old organs he has no mortal use for. Thanks to chloroform, you can cut half a dozen of them out without leaving him any the worse. Except for the illness and a few guineas, of course. I knew the wall poles 15 years ago. The father used to snip off the ends of people's ovulas for 50 guineas and paint throats with caustic every day for a year at two guineas a time. His brother-in-law extirpated tonsils for 200 guineas until he took up women's cases at double the fees. Cutler himself worked hard at anatomy to find something fresh to operate on. And at last he got hold of something he calls the nuciform sac, which he made quite the fashion. People pay him 500 guineas to cut it out. They might as well get their hair cut for all the difference it makes. But I suppose it's really important to them. You can't go out to dinner now without your neighbour bragging to you of some useless operation or another. It's really dreadful.